All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to duplicate yourself using Photoshop, a camera, and a tripod. All right, guys, first thing I want to do is grab your tripod, uh, open it up, pull it out, toss the bag, not really, and then take it and extend it, and then we grab our camera and put our camera on it with the lens facing out. Okay. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two separate photos. Get this on there real quick. All right, so we're gonna set this up and I'm gonna capture me at this table right here. All right, um, now I've set myself up on a 10 second timer. If you don't know how to do a 10 second timer, um, here's a quick tutorial on how to do it. All right, first thing you do when you turn your camera on is it brings you to this screen here and you push this left arrow key button. See now that it's gone away and I push that left arrow key button, nothing happens. So I hold down the shutter taking picture button halfway. This will come back up, I'll push that left arrow key because right here is my timer and it brings up the single shoot where I can change over and I can do a 10 second timer there or a two second timer which isn't quite enough time so we'll go back and push that center set button and that is how we get to our 10 second timer. Now that you know how to do a 10 second timer I set up I on this occasion we can go ahead and click the little red button so we can see the screen and I come out and I press and it's going for 10 seconds so I can put myself in the frame and have enough time. All right, so here's my first photo. I'm over on the left hand side. Now I come back over to my camera without moving the camera at all. It's very, 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 very important. I cannot stress it enough. Do not move the camera. What do we not do? Move the camera. Don't do it. And then I take a picture. And you notice that I was on the left hand side for the first one. Now I'm on the right hand side looking back exactly where I was sitting. All right, and with that, now we're done, and we can grab our SD card and go over into Photoshop. All right, first thing we do is put in our SD card. While we're waiting for that to come up, we can go ahead and create a new folder on our desktop. And this one we're going to title, um, we'll go to rename, and we'll call this uh, cloning myself. Okay, and we double click on our SD card, go to DCIM. And again, I recommend being in list view up here under your four different options. Yours will all be combined. And we go down to the very last numbered folder right here, 212. It's my last number because the next one doesn't have a number. And then down at the very bottom of that folder, we click on the last one, hit spacebar, and those are the two photos that I took. So we're gonna take those two, and where am I gonna put them? Yep, that's right, into that folder on my desktop. Just click and drag. And then I am done with my SD card and let's go ahead and eject it. Then we're going to open up Photoshop. All right, now with Photoshop open, the first thing we're going to do is click a new file, right? Wrong. What? What do you mean? No, we're not going to create a new file. What we're going to do is come over here to my cloning myself folder, pick either which one. I'll recommend starting with the top one just so it's easier when you bring in the second one. And you click and you drag it down to the blue PS and it will automatically open up inside Photoshop with perfect dimensions of exactly what you need. Then what we'll do is we'll go back to your folder and we're gonna double click that and we're gonna click and drag that next one right on top of our already opened um, format there, uh, our file there. And we're gonna hit enter. And now we have our two layers. Bottom one's locked, top one is not. So if I hide the top one, it reveals the one on the bottom. So what we do with this top one here is we already know how to use a mask. So we're going to do an, a layer mask. Click on that, hit B for brush, D for default, and then we're going to make our brush size bigger. 
Next to the letter P, you have a left and right bracket. And with our left and right, bracket, left and right bracket, we are able to make our brush size bigger or the left one makes it smaller. So I'm going to make it nice and big. And then we're going to swap these colors so black is on top. And I'm just going to come up here and brush. Now we notice that right here along this edge, it's a very harsh line. And that is because when using our brush tool, we have a very hard brush. And so what we do is we take this and we drop it all the way down to 0%. And then as we go over that brush, it is now softer and it doesn't leave that harsh line. And look what's happening is it's revealing the photo that is underneath. Now, if we get rid of this bottom one, this is what is happening is I'm really just erasing this top portion and careful not to go too close to your whatever portion of the body you have. If I went too close to my finger, my finger would start to fade away. And then if we bring this back one, now we have the perfect, um, there's no harsh lines and it reveals both of me. So if I hide the top one, I'm gone. And if I had the bottom one, that's really what it looks like. So really, I've taken just the top photo and cut it in half. So make sure that when you do take your photo, that there is enough separation between the two of you. So that way you can go through this process. Um, now, if I wanted to do three of me, um, I would move this one over. I would start the whole process over. And I would select three different um, areas. Um, I would go this area, this area. So I would have one of me standing in this portion, another one standing in this portion, and another one standing in this portion. It is possible to have more than just three of you in there, um, but it's going to require a lot more editing. And so here are the basics of how to clone yourself. When you're done, uh, go up to File, <clears throat> Save It. Go ahead and save it to your creative cloud. This one we're going to call cloning myself. We're going to save that, and then we're going to export it. We're going to go File, Export, uh, Export As. And we'll change the format from PNG to a JPEG. Actually, I don't care. You can leave it as a PNG. So as long as it's a PNG or a JPEG, either one of those. This brings up a new spot, select desktop. Inside the desktop, you can click cloning myself. So it automatically goes inside of that folder and click save. Then when we go over to my folder cloning myself, we have the two images plus that cloning myself file. 